You know, I was interested in your memoir reading about you co-writing Blades of Glory and then having your name um, taken off the script. I love Blades of Glory so much. Thanks. How did that that experience had to really be like difficult for you? Yeah, it was terrible. I said, yeah. um, was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was no, it was really, but it's also, I think that that it's a really relatable thing. I think a lot of women know what it's like to have their creative ideas taken from them and, you know, usurped by the men in their lives and told like, well, I know what to do with this. So you should just like sit down and let me take it over. Um, and you know, yeah, I was crushed. And especially because, you know, Andy, like I started in this business kind of like before people were hyphenates, like, you know, you wanted to be an act. I wanted to be an actor. Like there was no write your own material. It was like, you're an actor for hire and you go on your auditions and you're expendable and show up and say your lines and don't cause issues. And if the boys, you know, talk about your boobs, laugh and try to like, you know, play it off. And so Blades of Glory was like the first, but I've always been a writer and I always had ideas and wanted to be creative in that way. And so Blades of Glor Glory was this experience where, you know, I was really like excited about this idea and writing it with the guy who was my boyfriend at the time. And then he and his brothers just sort of like, were really, it was really shitty. And they just took it, they took it away from me. And, and after I, you know, had worked on it, he and I broke up and then they like, basically tried to gaslight me like that I had nothing to do with it. And it was so, it was like a real confidence breaker oh. for me for a long time. I'm glad I write now. Cause um, yeah, you know, I just wrote, I like, I have a pilot that I just turned into. <laughs> I have my studio notes tomorrow. Um, oh, but right. you know, like I am right. now back to writing, but dude, it took me fif like 15 years to, Get I was curious it, if you heard from them or heard from anybody after you put that in the book. Yeah, I did actually. And, you know, it's interesting. Like <laughs> I was joking right when the book came out that my second book could just be the letters I got after the book came out. Wow. Um, <laughs> you should though. I'm interested in that. Yeah. Wow. It's a lot. I mean, uh, yeah. And like, the thing is, I think with especially apologies, like you can't write, like people can't write an apology expecting for you to respond and or accept it, you know, like that's just not yeah. part of the deal necessarily. Uh. Um, so I had a, I actually had like a whole thing that happened with the one dude who was my boyfriend before the book came out and uh and it was like just solidified that because first it, it's so crazy like even though like i obviously again la i've been in therapy for forever <laughs> i've like worked on stuff but i when i was writing it i was like am i too hard on these guys like am i too hard on these guys was no, my thought no, you weren't no, no you weren't you <laughs> and, and it's a great book by the way and Thanks. um so check that out. And I'm going to be looking forward to the sequel because I want to hear about all the <laughs> you got. I think that's a really good idea.